Good evening YouTube. Yes, I'm a day late yet again, so my apologies for that. It's my top 10 day. So we'll get straight into my top 10 because I've got some, well, I've got loads of pickups to show you anyway. Um, oh, I burped, excuse me. I thought to myself, I've only got literally three, 4K titles myself. And I want to know, I don't want to have to wait and wait and wait for things to come out. 4K is region free, so why not try and source some stuff? So what I did, I, I had a look around and saw what's coming soon that I really want, that I would get from say America, that I don't have to wait two extra months for it to turn up here. So my top 10 is stuff I want from America, because I don't, I really don't want to wait. So then, you know, if you, sound, you guys like the sound of these, try and source it from you know see what importers you can find how can you keep the cost down you know let me know and I'll pass it on to everybody else you know do you shop in America a lot who do you use do they ship over here so let's try and get our knowledge all together just make it easier for people to get stuff from the US if possible so my top 10 June 26 Groundhog Day is out on 4k now I haven't checked UK dates but you know it's all called less than two weeks it's out in America and that is an awesome film so that's one I really, really want. On the 17th of July, Rampage is hitting in America, and we still haven't got a release date over here yet, so that really pisses me off. And the really cool looking 4K still book is being released on the same day as well. And remember, that is a HMV exclusive over here. God knows why, but I mean, they're still asking $29.99 for the 3D version of this film. So Blu ray 3D, not still book take the piss nah no one's gonna pay that mate I don't know July 24th we've got to wait till August but July 24th Ready Player One is out in America on 4k so that's one I, I would want to buy early August 14th one I've heard nothing in this country Van Wilder Party Liaison is out on 4k in America now that's a hilarious film if you haven't seen it Ryan Reynolds when he was in his comedic best back in the day 21st of August, we've got to wait to October as you know. Deadpool 2's out on 4K over there. What you know, why do we have to wait so long? It takes a piss. Uh, Bad Boys 1 and 2, September 1st is coming out in a double pack 4K. Looks awesome. God knows what the price is gonna be, I reckon knocking near 50 quid. But you know the soundtrack on the second and first are, are really bang. The visuals are gonna be amazing in 4K, so that's one I really, really want. Uh, the Incredibles came out on the 5th of June in America. I haven't checked whether it's out here yet, but that the colour palette on that film, introducing it to 4K, that's going to stomp the yard. That's going to look amazing. So I'm really thinking, do I want to get that? I've got it normal, but... Oh, yeah. A Wrinkle in Time came out the same day as that as well. So that's the one with Oprah Winfrey. Now, I've heard good and bad things about that film, so it's a Disney, so I would give it a chance. Tomb Raider's out on the 12th of June, so that's just come out in America. We're still bloody waiting, but that new Tomb Raider film, well, that doesn't look too bad. I mean, you know, you saw the new film, tra the new game trailers at E3, so it does, it does look quite good. And lastly, 5th, oh, sorry, 18th of June, I think it's June, I didn't read it right, Pacific Rim Uprising is out in America in 4K. Now, that film looks amazing. So, you know... If I don't have to wait another six, eight weeks for it to bloody turn up here, that's one I would really like to try and get in on import if I can afford it. But that's a small top ten, but it's quite an important top ten because we, you know, excuse the language, we keep getting fucked basically, don't we? Why do we have to wait for so long? End of the day, we go to the cinema same as any other bastard. But you know, you know they're going to get Infinity War at least a month before us, which really pissed me off. But you know. That's just the way it goes. You got, you got. I got to calm down. You know what I mean. Just let me see if I can find something to grab. Where is it? Oh, this is where it's going to be behind. Uh. Hold on, people. Now, do you know what? I can't be asked to find the cover now. If anybody knows the film Train to Busan, okay, that's what I meant to review on Monday. 
So my apologies, it, it totally went out of my head. My, my, I watched it with my mate Anthony. So big shout out to him because at the end of the day, I should have bloody remembered that. Um, my review. First thing you do is worry about it because it's Korean, so it's subtitled. But I'll say firstly, the sound is done immaculately. The subtitling is done extremely sympathetically. Now, subtitles can be chaotic in a film and it really, really shame, shades the film up. You don't, you just don't get to enjoy it. The writing is in the perfect place within your eye line every time. It doesn't hinder the action and some thought was put into it in my opinion it really was now visually brilliant I mean mine, mine, mine does the upscaling downstairs but crisp visuals um, some of the inside train shots are really well done because if you think about the chaotic scene of zombies clambering all over a subway car uh, train basically um, the confinements of that extremely well filmed extremely well thought out and generally, generally your heart goes the way some of the chases happen the way they pile out there are snifters of World War Z in this you'll see of how some of the chaotic reactions of the zombies piling on top of each other but if I if I had to give this a score it would be at least a good 8 out of 10 okay um, had worries before watching it when I've watched it I really don't know what I was worrying about extremely well produced really 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 looks good there's kind of an anime prequel um, or an anime style t film to this as well which advertises it at the end on the blu-ray so I can't remember the name of it but that is one I'll be looking out for as well because it is coming to blu-ray apparently so um, the anime actually looks really well done as well I'm not the biggest fan of anime so but it's one I would get just to companion it with Train to Busan so all I can say is get it watch it and get it you will not regret it right that concludes my review I'm not the most articulate person in the world but that is a bloody good film now pickups um i've been going out in my wheelchair because literally i really have to start pounding it in the wheelchair now so i need to start strengthening my arms up more i got to get out of there my hands are sore as hell but i got to get out there so i'm not shying away from going to the shop do this do that so we went hunting today. Um, picked up a few bits, he says. Um, firstly, I'll, I'll go through these. Uh, firstly, my nostalgia, my, my nostalgia um, side of things. This I got in the pound shop, so pound world, no pound, pound land. All right. Jose's at the Adventures of Tintin. It's every single one in one collection. Now these used to be on in the 80s and 90s on TV. To get this, this cost me a fucking quid. One pound. I was gobsmacked. Absolute good entry into my nostalgia collection. I will not regret that for a minute. This next one. Now, I work from quite a good database of movies. This is not on any database on this planet. So quite how it's eluded it or if anybody knows of this film by another name please let me know in the comments seven assassins iron cloud clouds revenge right this cost me pennies but really this is not on any database that i i use all right so it's going to be going in my collection but i can't add it to my listing strange so any help with that would be appreciated if anyone knows anything. Next one. It was in the pound shot. It shouldn't have been, but it was. The Space Between Us. It's quite a new one. Now, I do like the look of this film. Um, the, the, just the way it's done. I mean, it's all to do with Mars. And he's born on Mars, so he doesn't have the same gravitational pressure on his body. And he falls in love. And it's you know a good, simple family film. So I'm, I'm really glad I got hold of that, finally. Never heard of this one, but I have seen that artwork before. Humanity's End. The end is near. So if anyone's seen this, or is it a made-for-TV movie, I remember seeing that artwork before. So I picked him up. An absolute stonking, sodding classic. Bullet, Steve McQueen. you got to have that in your collection. I mean, it's a classic film. If anyone hates this, I don't know what's wrong with you. Okay. 
Okay. This one, well, I think it cost me like 90p. Conan the Barbarian with James Earl Jones and Arnold Schwarzenegger. He, he doesn't look good with long hair, does he? He really doesn't. But I've got the other Conan film of his, whatever it was. I've got that somewhere, I'll have to have a look. Next, uh, my missus has been saying, oh, I wish we had this, because it's a classic. I haven't seen it for years. I can't say no, can I? Mary Poppins, the 50th anniversary edition. Bloody classic film. They're doing, they're done, uh, they're doing the remake, aren't they? So let's watch the uh, original for nostalgia reasons before they ruin it. Never even heard of this next one. Uh, Elite Squad, The Enemy Within. Anyone heard of him? I'm sure it's a cheapie. But add to the collection and it should be good. Now the next one, I was under orders to buy this. I have to need my mate to thank for this. I've got the first one. Well, ain't you got the second one, I was told. Dead Snow 2. Apparently it's hilarious. Really good violence. So I'll be watching both these films together. Probably with Anthony, actually. But he'll be glad that I've got that in now. So there you go, Ant. I'm starting to get into the Lego films a bit more now. I mean, obviously, I've got Lego, Lego Movie, Lego Movie in 3D, and Lego Batman Movie. I haven't got that in 3D yet, and I haven't got Lego Ninjago yet. But you have all of these ones where you know they're like Batman the movie, DC Heroes, and all that. There's, a, there's quite a few different ones. I've got one of the Padawan ones for Star Wars, so I want to start getting more of these. So that's another one to add to the collection. Uh, little RT one called The Art of Getting By. Haven't seen it or heard of that, but I like the look of it from the write up. So that's another one I like. Gone to the trash end for the next one. Uh, I'll call this a shelf filler. It's one I'd watch when I'm bored on a Sunday afternoon, but Top Gear, the Apocalypse episode. So, you know, 50 pence. Not going to say no to that. Anyone who's watched any of my videos know I love Donnie Yen. I finally picked up the first Ip Man. I know it's a trilogy. So, if I see the second one, of course I'm going to pick him up, you know what I mean? They do look awesome. I did. I have started to get more into stand-up comedians. I do have the Lee Evans. He's at my absolute favourite. Um, I picked up two in this pile. One is Kevin Bridges. Bit boring for me, but I'll give him a chance. Not my favourite guy. The other one's in the other pile. I also picked up The Untouchables, which you know is a bloody awesome film. No, I don't like Kevin Costner, but you can't knock this film. Amazing, amazing. I'm looking forward to watching that again. As everyone knows, I'm an idiot. I sold on my Game of Thrones for a second time. Yes, I showed you my last pickup video. I got Series 1. So, yeah, I'm not going to say no to Series 2 as soon as I can. So, I will get them all back together before Series 8 gets released. And as everybody knows, my nature Blu rays are going through the roof now. So, I picked up one called Great Barrier Reef. It's BBC. You cannot go wrong with BBC and nature. They are the world leaders in this shit. So you're never going to be disappointed with stuff like that. I think I have season one of this next one. I saw the first season on, on TV and I was quite impressed. So when I found series three of Fringe for cheap, I'm going to buy it. I will get them all together at some point. Uh, the next one. A lot of people won't know this one, but this is one of Nicolas Cage's early films. Um, this is back in the day. This shows how old I am and this come out, but I thought it was quite funny. Raising Arizona. This film's nuts. Holly Hunter, her accent does my head in, but you know, I do like Nicolas Cage. Th that's one of his classics before he needed the money films, you know what I mean? I saw this one on Sky and I thought oh, I was going to be dodgy, but I actually enjoyed it. And right at the end, it's so bloody funny. The Shallows. It's actually quite well made. I, I, I actually recommend that one to people. I've had the first film with this for ages. So for 50 pence, I'm going to pick up the second best exotic marigold hotel. Haven't seen this one yet, but you know, Judy Dench. I love Judy Dench. I love Maggie Smith. Bill, I mean, Bill Nighy's in it, you know. Richard Gid in it. You can't say no to those names, really, can you? I, had, I saw a poster of this one years ago. I've never seen it. Pride. So I'm always going to pick up stuff I remember in my head. So we'll see what that one. Right. I have never heard of this next one, and it's got the rock in it, so 
Whether it was just it went over my head, I don't know. But Empire State, ever, anyone heard of that? I mean, uh, Liam Hensworth, that's a bad haircut, mate. But, you know, anyone seen that? Let me know what your thoughts on that are. Now, this next one, it's it's called WE, but it's the film that Madonna did about the royal couple, you know, from years back. Now, apparently, this film absolutely sucks ass. So, I, I, to me, that's a bit of history. Maybe shit. It cost me n next to nothing. But at least it's in my collection now, so if I want to watch it, I can do. Here's the other um, stand-up comedian. I got this only on the basis that somebody tried and somebody nicked his watch. So Michael McIntyre. I really don't like the guy, but on the basis that he's joking about being mugged, I'll, I'll get out on that basis. Michael Caine. You can't go wrong with Michael Caine. Is anybody there? No matter what the film is, I'll always pick up. The only film that I would normally have not picked up of his is Jaws the Revenge, which he's in. But, I've got it as part of the whole package, so I've got it anyway. Next we have The Promise. Now, you guys know me, me epic Chinese, Japanese, martial arty shit. I mean, look at that. How many bloody arrows are on that? Look at that. Love it. Gotta get it. Probably won't watch it for ages. Uh, this one, the, the cover is quite rank, actually. So I will be swapping him over, but... You can't say no to the Christmas version of Gremlins, can you? I still can't be with him, bloody has it. Now, Split, good film. This is a good film. Why the hell I never had this, I never know. It just totally went over my head. So I had to get this. The film in the last one at the moment, the way they've tied this in over a 20 year period is classic in my opinion. I'm gonna make sure this gets watched. Samuel L. Jackson's got the worst haircut ever in this film, but you can't say no to that. And last but not least, yes, I have it. Yes, I watched it last night, and yes, it is fucking awesome. Well worth the 1.3 plus billion it made in the cinema. Uh, the 3D transfer is quite well done. Um, I will be watching this in upscale 4K again probably this weekend. But we watched it last night. The missus really enjoyed it. The artwork on this still book is absolutely class. Obviously you've got that there, but there is a there is better stuff on there. I'm not gonna show you now, but oh yeah. It's all happening. Um the only other thing I'm gonna show you right now is um obviously I do my competitions. Now I have at least one, two, three, four, if at least ten things up there. Uh, I said next week's gonna be still books. <coughs> Now, at least a couple of times, I've given away the Paralympic Games Blu-ray because it is bloody good. So, if you think that's good, let's turn it the right way. I picked up the London Olympic ones. Now, this is a absolutely amazing. Danny Boyle directed the opening ceremony. For people who don't know, he's doing the next Bond film. He's the one who did Train Spotting, etc. You know what I mean? This is amazing. This is going to be a competition prize in a couple of weeks' time. All right, so just a little preview. I won't. I put, might not even be next week, but ne next week is definitely still book time. All right, but this is going to be a prize coming soon. All right, everyone should enter for this one. If you ain't got it, just have it in your collection just to watch the opening ceremony alone. I mean, the closing one's brilliant, but the opening will knock your socks off. That is going to be a prize for people. All right, so that is everything for now. Alright, so I appreciate your time guys. And one last thing. I will be doing my um at some point. I just need to you know get my, my cards in order in, in a way to make sure my health is getting better. Once I've done that I'm gonna hopefully do batch videos, hopefully in 4K, touch wood, of my Marvel movie figure collection as well. But just to introduce you, my late they have they have normal, they have super um super they call, and then they have megas. I have th the first three megas, which is the Hulk Buster, then Hulk, then Groot, and this is the fourth one that's just come out. Baby Groot. Now this is really heavy. It's really well done, and there's only a thousand of these in the world. 
I haven't got an exciting number, mine's 467. But there you go. But you will get a better introduction. I've e I mean, I'm so sad, I've even bought compressed air to, to dust these off before I film them. Yeah, I'm that sad. So, it will be a labour of love to get these all on video and correctly before I upload them, but I don't do the editing thing that well. So, I'll do them in like batches of 10. And, you know, the megas separately and, and the specials separately as well. Hopefully people will enjoy them. If they bore you shit, let's tell me. But it's just one uh, another thing I like collecting. Um, they just actually confirmed that the run, instead of ending at 80, they're now going to end it at 100 figures. So it's going to be interesting to see what else comes out. But, I mean, that is it's between him and Hulkbuster as to my favourites, but nobody's going to be going near him. He's amazing. I just know I'm going to snap one of his twigs off because that, that pissed me off but I thought I'd introduce him to you today as well a 20 minute video there so hopefully I haven't bored you and I'm looking at myself oh, I look like shit so my apologies it's day after tomorrow I should have something back with my teeth hopefully as well if the dentist has got his finger out his arse so hopefully you might, I might not be as a goofy looking twat as, as I was before but we'll see but Friday's coming, you know the draw's going to be there, and we'll see what we can do, let's get some winners. Now, one thing I'll say to people, I have not had many entries for this yet. If you have not heard of these, do not let that discourage you. The action in these films is on par with Clue Story. That's how good the action is in these films. If you win it and don't like them, sell them on. Trade them in, do what you like. But I implore people to enter this competition because you need to see these films at least once. They are honestly that good. Maybe my opinion, but I really think this is worth a go for everybody. So please, Facebook, befriend me, message me, and enter. It doesn't cost you nothing to get them to you, alright? I've had about four entries so far, so, you know, there's some time. I, I always uh, message my regulars anyway. I'll be doing that tomorrow. In case you know people have busy lives and don't always look at my ugly ass on a video every night, you know what I mean. So I appreciate everyone's time. We do take the time to actually uh, listen to me. Enjoy the rest of your evening now, and give me ideas for top tens. Is there something specific that you're looking to branch out in? Let me help you out. I'll do the research because I'm sat on my ass at two in the morning, not being able to sleep because I'm in pain. So I might as well do something. Enjoy your rest of the evening. Appreciate your time, guys. Talk to you soon.